the holy places of uh, Bharat and today we wanted to talk to about Bindavan. Yesterday we talked about Mathura and today we go to Bindavan, which is not far from Mathura. It may be um, seven, eight kilometers. So this is a idea of uh, the town of Bindavan according to Google Maps. Vrindavan is a holy city, holy town in Uttar Pradesh, northern Bharat. The deity Krishna is said to have spent his childhood here. It's home to temples, many dedicated to Krishna and his lover, <laughs> Radharani, his eternal consort, actually. At Banki Bihari Temple, which is the most famous temple in Vrindavan, the curtain in front of Krishna's deity is open and closed every few minutes. And the, leg the, the thinking behind that is one time Krishna saw a, his devotee there and um, he decided to go with his devotee. <laughs> so he left the altar. So since that time, they keep closing the curtains every few minutes. They don't want Krishna to run away. <laughs> At Radha Raman Temple, a gold plated, uh, a gold plate beside Krishna signifies Radha. Prem Mandir is a huge white marble temple. That's the, the, uh, recently built, maybe last within the last decade, in a very famous, very popular temple, although it's uh, so new. Um, so let's just have now in Vrindavan, what we normally would do is uh, we will try to do the Parikram of Vrindavan. Uh, this is, I don't think this is the actual Parikram route. This is a little bit too long. But there's a Parikram route, which means you basically um, walk, you have look, walk around the town, or around the deities, around the temples of Vrindavan. Hmm? Is that the Parikram mark? Looks a little bit. A little bit longer than it should be. Yeah, we just want to work out whether this is the Parikram mark. As you can see, Jayanti is back. <laughs> I don't think that's. Oh, well, welcome back, Mataji. Thank you. I wish everyone. That's not the Parikram mark itself. Um, Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. Let me just. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna everyone. Hope you have come back safe. I have, yes, thank you. And enjoyed? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots of shopping. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wow. On Jamnagar? Let me just pause yes. it. So, this is an idea of uh, the Parikram Mark of uh, Bandavan. It's about eight kilometers and uh, it takes about two, three hours to walk around the uh, Parikram mark um, and after we've done that we normally would go to uh, take darshan of um, Gopeshwar Mahadev who is Lord Shiva and why do we do that because he is the protector of Vrindavan and we would seek his blessings because he protects Vrindavan, we seek his blessing, my dear Lord Shiva, please allow us to enter into the dham of Vrindavan. You are such a great devotee of Lord Krishna. Please allow us to um, enter into his holy place, which you protect. And then um, from then, after getting his blessings, we would go to the different um, Temples and that that loads and loads of temples. So let's just have a look. This is this is a rather modern Mohan temple, very beautiful, picturesque on the Yamuna banks. Very beautiful ancient temple. 
Let's just uh, have a look at uh, some of the writing that uh, Jainthi has put together. Located in the state of Uttar Pradesh, Vrindavan is a holy city nestled on the bank of the Yamuna River. And it's considered to be a famous pilgrimage site. It, is about, it has about 5,500 temples dedicated to the worship of Krishna and his divine consort, Radha. It is one of the most sacred places for Vaishnav tradition, um, possessing the childhood pastimes of Lord Krishna. Vrindavan city or town allures the tourists from around the world who are spiritual and seek contentment and peace. The famous temple is in Vrindavan includes Banki Bihari Mandir, which is one of the major attractions along with witnessing the classic beauty of Prem Mandir. So you can also head to the Radha Raman temple. So out of the 5,000 odd temples, there are many prominent temples, about 10. Banki Bihari being one, Prem Mandir being another. And there's eight temples which belong to the uh, six Swamis who of Vrindavan, who had been interest, instrumental in opening those temples. And they include Radha Shyam Sundar Mandir, Radha Damudar, uh, Radha Gopinath Mandir, Radha Vallabh Mandir, right? Golokanandan Mandir, Radha Raman Mandir, and Radha Mandan Mohan Mandir. I think that was eight or maybe that was seven. Um, so these are important places to visit, and especially Radha Raman Mandir, because the deity there is the original deity uh, which was installed by um, Gopal Bhatt Goswami, and a very famous deity, very beautiful deity. Uh, we've shown many pictures. Today I haven't got a picture for it, but um, it's a very um, solemn place, amazing place to visit. Most of the other temples, right, Radha Govindji, Radha Madan Mohan, the deities uh, were taken away. The original deities were taken away into Jaipur and other places like that because of the Mohammedan rule, uh, the Islamic uh, soldiers would come and try to destroy the temples and the deities. So a lot of the original deities were taken to Rajasthan for, for their protection. But Radha Raman is um, still there. And Radha Raman, the reason is because the deity itself is quite small. It's maybe one and a half foot or something like that, if that. But it's a glorious deity. It's a Shaligram Shira deity, self-manifested. Self-manifested from the Shaligram Shiras. It's gone Vindavan, has a wonderful temple. We stay there at the guest house usually. And um, the facilities there are very, very, very good, very conducive to um, having a, um, a comfortable yatra. There's also the Sri Ranganath Temple, which is a historic temple. Uh, it's designed. Uh, it's designed by Sri Shampadaya, the from the south South India, South Bharat, and it's actually architecturally a very amazing temple. Um, considered to be the largest temple there. There are several other essential temples: Radha Govindji, Radha Govinda, Radha Damodar, to be seen. While in Vrindavan. Radha Damodar Mandir is very famous because um, actually Srila Prabhupada stayed there before coming to the West for many years. He translated the Srimad Bhagavatam there, he began the translation there, and uh, he would he also started the Back to Godhead magazine there. Did many, many amazing things there actually. Um, and there is still a room in that temple, two rooms. One is his bedroom, the other is his um, kitchen, which is still being maintained um, on behalf of Prabhupada. And with multiple activities to do in Mandavan, uh, you should not miss out on the Yamuna Puja on Keshigat. Every morning, evening, there is a Yamuna Puja 
And we witnessed that a few times. It's quite amazing, actually. They do Arti to Yamuna. And you can get on a boat and cross the Yamuna and watch the Arti from the other side. Or watch it from the boat itself, which is an amazing experience. Um, in Vrindavan, also, we were very fortunate because uh, Rikala Gyapu, he has allowed us to serve in some way or other. And we are looking after um, or providing the fodder for many goshalas there. Many gomatas have been adopted and donated or contributed to small goshalas run by uh, Bajwasi Brahmins who look after them very nicely. Um, there's other places like Seva Kunj and Nidhuvan, which one can visit, which include the pastimes of Ratha and Krishna, the nocturnal pastimes. And it is said in those places that during the evening, during the night, Ratha and Krishna do their wonderful pastimes. So nobody should be there at that time. And if anybody is by accident there, they go mad. <laughs> and in the morning, when one does goes from Mangalati, those places, we can see the sort of um, remnants left by Radha Mata, Radha Krishna. Yeah. The bed has been slept on, for example. <laughs> so it's quite, a, quite amazing. Um, in Vrindavan also, we have this opportunity that we serve um we serve by sponsoring many of um the the gopis through the education system uh, so many of the gopis are from vrindavan itself and in a, around vrindavan there are many places of pilgrimage which we will talk about in the next few weeks which include Varasana, which is the birthplace of Shrimati Radharani. Then there's also um, Gokul, where Krishna first went from Mathura to uh, over the across the Yamuna to Gokul. Then there's Nandgao, where Krishna stays, stayed with his father for many years. Uh, and Nangao and Varsana are like two big palaces on top of uh, two hills. And uh, fascinating um, to visit those places. There's also um, uh, Tulsi Marani's Vindakund, where uh, Vindadevi has her, um, the temple there with the deities. And they, again, they're looked after by very, very nice, humble uh, devotees. One can go there and spend some time, have lunch with them. They're so sweet. And they cook the most amazing deity, uh, Pushadam. Sorry? There's also a place called Raman Reti, where Krishna and Balaram would pray in the, in the uh, fields, in the, in the sand, Raman Reti. And this Reti was made by the, the Gomata who wanted Krishna not to have thorns in his feet when he went out grazing them. So they went and they crushed all the stones into sand. <laughs> and this, that's famously known as Raman Reti, beautiful sand. There. There's so many places. There's uh, um, Yavat, uh, Radharani's uh, place of birth, or Ravel. Um, and hopefully we will talk about some of those places in the next few weeks. So Vrindavan is a um, place where we try to go annually, at least once a year if we can. It's uh, to, to get spiritually recharged again. It's a place where uh, you can seek the blessings of Radharani and Krishna. Oh, Govardhan, yes, it's another wonderful place. Govardhan, and that includes... Radhakund Shamkund. Godan is where which the mountain that Krishna lifted 
when he was seven years old. So it's another fascinating place, um, which um, is, is at least once in our life, we have to make that pilgrimage to go to Govardhan and do the parikram of Govardhan. You don't have to walk, it's 21 miles, kilometers, long walk. You can do the parikram on a vehicle, that's fine. Um, but if one can walk, that's walk, that's really good. But if not, then one can do by um, by car or rickshaw. Riksha. So these are fascinating places. Uh, there's so many. You could spend a week or two weeks, and every day go to different places, and it's still never going to be enough time, because there's so many wonderful places to visit, and spend some time um, and really beg for the mercy of the Supreme Lord to uh, gain access to his wonderful transcendental Leela. And when one prays and goes to Vrindavan, then actually one becomes a little bit more closer, a little bit more attached to Krishna. Because the association there, everybody is chanting, everybody is very focused on, on the Supreme Lord. That association makes us realize that actually we, we need to do more. We need to do um, more, more bhakti, more chanting, so that we can become closer to Krishna. Um, fascinating place. Um, I remember many, many years ago, we went there, when I went there for the first time in eight. 1987, 84, 84, 85, 1985, and um, uh, such a transcendental experience. And at that time, the Vindavan wasn't so much built up. Now it's like a concrete jungle sometimes. So many flats and houses are built now. Um, but at that time, it was quite open and... Um, uh, a lot of green fields and um, very, very transcendental place. And of course, we can go with uh, a vision or, uh, which is materially based and look at all the negative things. But actually in Vrindavan, uh, one can go with in a proper mood, like Akru did when he went from Mathura to Vrindavan, considering it a great privilege and honor to be going to the land of Krishna. So we can go with the wrong eyes, wrong attitude, and we will not, we will not see the Vrindavan, that, uh, the, the spiritual Vrindavan. But if we go with the right, right mood, right attitude, then we will be able to see, um, you know, experience the, the mood of uh, Vrindavan. So I wanted to stop there. Any questions, any comments? I wish there was a few yes. of the ones, ones around Vrindavan, isn't it? Uh, sorry? A one or a forest area around the Vrindavan. Oh, yes, you're right. Yes. Oh, there are eight forests. Yes. And Vrindavan, one is forest, and Vrinda is Vrinda Devi. So actually this Vrindavan is controlled by Vrinda Devi, Vrindavan. <laughs> so she's a very important devotee of Krishna. And she regulates who can come and who can go. Uh, with her permission, we can go to Vrindavan. And she organizes so many of the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. And Krishna and Radha are very pleased with Binda Devi. And you're right, there are eight forests around uh, in Brajabhumi. Uh, some of them are close to Vrindavan, some of them are a little further away. Um, I forgot the name of the forest that Vrindavan itself is in. Uh, I've forgotten it's that. No, it's in the it's within the forest as well. I forgot the name now. Yes, Nariman. Is that okay, Nariman? Yes, yes, yes. No, there is that um is that area forest where uh not a forest, but an area where we visited where Radha and Krishna they said they come there at night time. Mm. Seva Kunj and Nidivan. Nidivan. Nidhi one, yes. Oh. That's right. Uh, Hare, Krishna, Hare Krishna. Oh, 
Okay, it's finished. All right, uh, you carry on now. Last now, uh, Prabhu. Uh, yes, yes, Mrs. Sir. Uh, Prabhu, in the Banki Bihari temple is so much crowded, so much famous. <laughs> Why it is that? It's it's the most famous temple, and it's started by somebody called Haridas. Uh, we this Haridas. is not the same Haridas that uh, we uh, the Haridas are called Namacharya. It's another Haridas, very famous shant. Oh uh, yeah, another Haridas. Ah, oh, that's right. And he found this deity, uh, the deity appeared to him, mm -hmm. and um, since that time he he made the temple there and. Banke Bahari just became one of the most uh, famous and popular deities. That's correct. That is right. It is it is probably the most famous deity in Bandavan, in the world, probably. <laughs> mm. Extraordinary temple, actually. Very beautifully done. Actually, yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, um, um, uh, Robin? Uh, yeah. Hare, uh, yeah, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. You know, I'm sorry, but you said uh, we do three hour par parikramna, yeah? Yeah. Uh, is it, uh, you, you are only allowed to do one or you can do as many as you can? Oh, yes. devotees go every day. Uh, some devotees, they they will do parikram every single day. They, have, they take this, um, the wow that oh. I do parikram every day. And some do so that, twice, some do three times. Sometimes they walk all day around. <laughs> and um, as you said, it takes three hours. Mm. So suppose if we are going from here, we will obviously do one because we mm. won't have that much time to do it. And then. Yeah. Right. yeah, if possible, if possible, yes. And uh, you did mention about Raman Rati. Is that the same Raman Rati, the one... Just now, uh, other Mataji said uh, Krishna and Radha played. Or That's that different. different. Yeah, this one is Krishna and Balaram. They played. They played. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The but, other one is Seva Kunj or Nidhi one, where Radha and Krishna. Even today, they are doing. Uh, they're doing uh, pastimes. And they, uh, I, I mean, I think you did mention, or maybe I heard somewhere else that they still come in the night time and play. Yeah. That's right. So we, we don't see them. No, we can't. Uh -huh. But the Pujaris at the temple, they they mm, they may be able to witness, they may not be, but in the mornings, they will show us that, oh, this this is what uh, Radha and Krishna have left as their remnants. Yeah, things have moved also. In uh, that's the it, that's it, that's it. Right, thank that's you. It. See, it's so mm. nice when, even if you hear these things, it's still in it's yeah. good to hear, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Thank you so much. Okay, with that, Vindavan Dham ki jai.